Hello everyone and welcome back to another Emasi chess game and fantastic chess game between Lubavir Kavalek against Geri Kasparov. So let's see what happened in this chess game from 1982. Kavalek has the white pieces and he starts the game with c4. We have the English opening. So Kasparov is basically playing the king's Indian defense. Even against the English opening, castling h3 e5, charging the center. Sometimes Black can push the C pawn as well. Pushing the pawn, knight to a6, developing the bishop, knight to h5, knight to h2, queen to e8, bishop to e2, knight to f4. Defending the bishop, so white simply didn't want to lose the bishop with capturing the knight and with liberating the bishop, so f5 by Geri Kasparov. He wants to open, he wants to liberate his rook. h4, queen to e7. Defending the h pawn. And in this position, the knight is under attack, so Kavalek pushed the g pawn and he is attacking the knight. What would you do in this position? Geri Kasparov played an incredible move. Well, he played knight to b4 and he is basically sacrificing the knight. But we have queen to b3. Actually, this was a deep calculation by Kasparov. If capturing the knight, then capturing back, and this is attacking the bishop, so if defending the bishop like this, then e takes on f4, and this is all over for white. And not maybe immediately, but this is pretty much losing, so uh, attacking the defender of the bishop, if you move this bishop, so uh, after capturing the knight, you can take the bishop, and if you don't move the bishop, you can simply take the bishop, and then capturing the knight, and this bishop is also going to fall. You can see that the king side of white is looking extremely vulnerable. So this was the calculation of Kasparov. But in this position, if a bishop to g2, in this position, if bishop to g2, then knight to d3, that's check. And then capturing the pawn and black is much better, as you can see. Even though black is a piece down, black has. So in this position, we have queen to b3 not capturing the knight but now Kasparov is checking the king knight from f to d3 king to e2 and pushing the pawn bishop goes back capturing the pawn capturing the pawn and it is black to move Geri Kasparov kept his eyes on f3 and he sacrificed the exchange who rook takes on f3 what a shot a knight takes on f3 and then bishop to g4 pinning the knight simply defending but now adding one more attacker and now adding the queen into the attack the queen is also targeting on f3 bishop to e3 back bishop takes on f3 this is check and kasparov is getting back the material he has two minor pieces for the rook so king over queen to d7 rook over queen in a3 and now not moving the knight but bishop takes on e4 attacking to rook so this is attacking to rook kasparov is targeting to rook so first rook takes on f8 bishop takes on f8 and then simply capturing the knight so kasparov sacrificed his knight but now queen check queen to h2 and how to defend there are not so many safe squares for the king so King to c3 and knight to c1 by Yeri Kasparov. And actually in this position, white resigned. This is attacking the queen and the possible continuation if capturing the knight. Then simply queen to e2 is actually much better than capturing the rook. Because in this position, a black is threatening checkmate and there is no sensible defense. So if giving the escape square to the king... Then closing, giving the escape square to the king once again, then pushing the pawn, closing, opening, closing, pushing the pawn and liberating the bishop and the possible continuation as you can see is very nice. Well in this position if something like knight to f2 simply capturing the knight and then that's also losing. So c5 uh, giving the escape square bishop check closing queen takes on d5 
is actually a very desperate move capturing the pawn bishop check and basically white is getting force checkmated and there is no defense checkmate okay so you can see that in this position white is doomed if uh, in this position if queen to a4 then knight to a2 that's check if capturing the knight with the queen then queen to c2 is checkmate so as you can see so this is also losing if moving the king that's also losing so thank you very much for watching uh, and this was the must see chess game by Gary Kasparov after knight to c1 white resigned so i hope to see you next time take care and bye bye